Mod tips. Hydro dipping for your box mods. So I know a lot of you have seen my DNA build tutorial and in that video I showed you my customized enclosure. And I was able to achieve this look by using a method called swirl painting. Now swirl painting is basically a technique where you float paint on top of water and as you dip your enclosure into that water you're left with a randomized paint pattern which looks really cool. And I've seen a lot of box mods out there using that method. But since that video, a new way to customize your box mods has been gaining in popularity. And that method is called hydro dipping. And with hydro dipping, you're able to achieve some really cool designs on your enclosures. The three designs that I chose was a wood grain finish, a sticker bomb look, and a carbon fiber pattern. Now I'm not gonna show you step by step on how to hydro dip in this video, but I do have a full tutorial on my other channel, and I'll link to that video down below. But basically with hydro dipping, instead of using paint like the swirl paint method, you're using a film with a high quality image on it. And you float that film on top of water. And just like the swirl paint method, as you dip your enclosure into the water, that image is now transferred over onto your enclosure. And once that image is transferred over, all you really have to do is clear coat. And then you're left with some really awesome enclosures for all your box mods. And hydro dipping your box mods will really make your products stand out. But this video is just to give you a quick glimpse at what you can do with hydro dipping. But if you want to see the full tutorial on how to hydro dip, I'll put the link in the description. That's my quick mod tip of the day. Just go out there and start modding.